we have the cylindrical pulley of mass m and radius r then there is a small mass here and this is another particle a which is here now it's given when this mass makes an angle alpha with the vertical then the system is in equilibrium and then if we shift this if you pull this a a little bit down what will be the period of what will be the frequency of these oscillations so initially the system is at equilibrium so they have not given the mass of a so let's calculate that first and then we will shift it by a small amount d alpha and calculate what will be the restoring torque so let's balance the forces first so mg so we are just balancing the torque about this point o so let's say the dead weight's mass is m dash so initially net torque about o is equal to 0 so mg into this distance which is r sin alpha so mg into r sin alpha is equal to m dash g into r this gives m dash is equal to m sin alpha now let's move this a little bit down so let's say this it gets the pulley gets turned by a further angle d alpha now let's write the restoring torque about point o so restoring torque is torque due to this minus torque due to this so torque due to this mass is mg r sin alpha plus d alpha so mg into this distance which is r sin alpha plus d alpha minus torque due to this that is still the same m dash g into r and m dash we just calculated which is m sin alpha so we simplify this this becomes mgr sin alpha plus d alpha minus sin alpha now sin a minus sin b is cos a plus b by 2 sin a minus b by 2 so we do that we get this so this can be assumed alpha plus d alpha by 2 can be assumed to be simply cos alpha and the sine d alpha by 2 we can write as d alpha by 2 so this simplifies to mgr cos alpha d alpha now this is a physical pendulum which if we turn by a small angle d alpha we are getting the torque restoring torque as a function of c into d alpha so it's a proportionality constant so this is an shm so omega will be c by i but to calculate i now let's stick this a to this side like this so this is the m dash which is m sin alpha this m here and this whole thing is m r square by 2 so i of this compound pendulum will be m r square by 2 plus m r square plus m dash r square m dash is m sin alpha and c we just calculated to be this so this is our answer all right.